All right, thanks for tuning in. Um, this video here, we go out, we don't do very good on top waters. You're gonna, you're gonna hit days like that. <clears throat> but we go out in, into the deep water, which we've been doing lately. And I keep uh, showing you this j just because you, if you spend enough time and learn how to fish this technique, it's amazing uh, how many big fish you'll catch. Um, if, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Uh, it helps my channel and uh, it'll help you. Uh, I try to show you is, uh, lots of different ways on how to catch fish. But uh, stay tuned for this one. Um, uh, I love fishing this way. Uh, if you spend enough time and learn how to fish it, it, it is it is a a great way to catch fish. Stay tuned. Well, that ain't helping anything, I can tell you that. Oh, there he is. Hey, what do I got here? Rain. He's pulling some drag on me. Ah. Oh boy, Dang, it's a big old spot. It's a good one. I mean, he's not a giant, but he's a good one. Good lord. He's funky. First fish is a, that's yeah, probably two a and a nice half. Yeah. Nice fish. Fish is a little slow. Zane, he didn't even, he didn't even hit it. He just, it just my lure went under. Cold front or whatever, it rained all night. Did it rain all night? Well, it had to, the roads were wet this morning. What was it? Oh, he hit me out of the water. Ooh, got him. Got him. Got him. Or something like that, wasn't it? It was something like that. Is it big enough for the net? No, I don't think so. No, it's not bad. What do you think? Yeah, we'll net him. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. We don't want to lose him. Large mouth. Oh. Here, you want the... Here, put him down. Yeah. I mean, that's approaching two pounds, large mouth. Oh my gosh, There's, you can't. What is it? One of those front hooks need to be bent back. Wow, those hooks are just sticky. Decent large mouth. Now that look, that lure's stuck in your leg. <laughs> nice large. Mouth. Yeah, decent large mouth. Got bit, he came back for it. <laughs> Ooh, it's a good fish, too.
Need the net? Well, it just Here, because let me, it's, let me get it. It's because it's spinning. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, yes. There you can see the the bait in his mouth. That's a nice fish right there. Hello. Boy, he just do this all day. Well, we may have to. Boy, there's enough bait. We're in 30 feet of water. Boy, it's we're it's deep here. Well, whatever. There is bait. So we only caught two topwater fish so far this morning, so we're having to try to figure them out underneath. And he was out deep, wasn't he? Yeah. Ooh. What the heck? Did I get the big boy? He might have. Ooh, it's a nice one. I might have got him. <clears throat> I think I got him. That's a nice one. Oh boy. Come here. Open. Ooh, I got him on the lower left. Yep. Yeah, Zane, that's another two, two and a half pounder. Uh oh. <laughs> Just stick you. Yeah, go ahead and let him loose and nice fish. Oh, you got it. So they are still here. Ooh, Zane, it shows a lot of suspended fish down there. Boy, I like that. Zane, I didn't feel him bite it. He was just there. They pulled me. So we're back out here on, on in deep water. The boat's setting in 65 feet. 66 feet right now. We got a bluff wall. There's a point back here. And this is kind of the pattern we've been on here lately. We only caught two topwater fish this morning. Boy, it just sinks forever. Man, that, I, I don't remember being yeah. a snag here, do you? No, but it's just part of it. Rock, I bet. The key for us right now, we're on the northwest part of, of the lake. The key is depth. You want you want it deep. And it might be 25, 30 feet deep, right at the right at the bank. It just drops straight down. That's the key. That's what you're looking for right now. I mean, there's a million different ways to catch them, but this is how we're catching them. Ooh, Zane, there's a bunch of fish underneath us too. He's not a big one, but. Oh, Zane, right underneath the boat, there's a bunch. Monster! Bunch of fish right underneath the boat. These fish are not easy to catch. There's a, <coughs> there's a technique to fishing this <coughs> that you gotta, you just, you gotta do it right or you're not gonna get them. You know, we're in deep water, 30, 30 feet deep or so. The more line you have out, the, the less sensitive it is. Harder it is to feel the bite. Isn't that weird, Zane? They'll hit it. Oh, Zane, it's it's a netter. I guess I'm netting it myself. Let me get over here so I get it on camera. Oh boy! <laughs> it's another stud. Boy, he devour it. <laughs> you can see the jig and fluke does the damage again. That's another two and a half, probably two and a half. Nice fish. It's 
another subtle, just subtle bite. He hit it, I set the hook, he, and he missed it, and then I just let it sink again. He came back and got it. Fishing like this does require a lot of patience. It's, you know, it takes so long for it to sink. It's just excruciating, but it's worthwhile. And we've got a few places we can do this. We'll, we're gonna work our way back up to the point here, then we're gonna go to another spot leave these fish alone and we'll come back here and catch them again oh no and you will get snagged up doing this it's just part of it I think I got five now yeah, you just surpassed him pretty quick. Did you get him? Yeah, he came back and got it. I just let it sink. <laughs> I missed this fish three or four times before I got him. Ooh. I just, Zane, I just don't trust the... I don't, uh, maybe I can just... Yeah, let's get this. <clears throat> Out deeper? He was in there, kind of close Shallow. to the bank. Nice fish. Pound and a half. Zane, I think it's groups of fish. There ain't no way that same fish hit it because I, I hooked him for a second. Man, it just you got it's you got to just let it sink and sink and sink. They're down there deep. If you use too heavy of a jig head. To get it down quick, you're going to be snagged every two seconds. Are they biting it or? Just barely. You, you'll just barely feel a tick. You got to be paying attention or you won't even know it. And you know, I'm watching my line too. It helps to watch your lines. <laughs> Sometimes you just see that line just twitch a little. It's usually a fish. Boy, Zane, I didn't feel him bite it. it it's a good one, whatever it is. Another, you know, two and a half, three pounder. Scared away from me. <laughs> oh, he took it deep too. Another two and a half, probably. We're over at our second point. I just let that sink forever and forever, and finally, it didn't hit bottom when I thought it should have. Fish on it. So I believe we're catching fish that other people don't have the patience to fish for. That's, that's just my theory. One good thing about fishing like this is rarely do we catch a dink. It's mostly all good fish. For doing this kind of fishing, I'm using a six foot 10 Arc Cobb series medium rod. It's a medium extra fast. Eight pound gamma fluorocarbon. Using a Shimano Vanford spinning reel, which is the best spinning reel I've ever used. It's it's relatively shallow here. Didn't I get snagged here? Yeah. I wouldn't work it out too far. Let it sink. Now come back. Missed him too. Oh boy. I got me at the same time you did. Good one. We we ah! 
traveled around looking for traveled around looking for similar conditions it's we're boat setting in 40 feet of water here that's a nice pound and a halfer i got that too yep Zana. well we we might have to go back through there we got a little close the wind took me Another nice pound and a half -er. Oh boy, it is. Yeah, it's just a little guy. Just a dinkster. Come see me in about two years. like the looks of that tree. So all the fish we're catching today are near really deep water. Usually most of our fish will come when the boat's setting in 40 to 50 feet of water. We keep it simple. This is what we've been killing them on. Can't see any reason to change it because it keeps working. All right, thanks for tuning in. Uh, the jig and fluke is the most consistent way we found to catch them. Um, there's, there's a technique to it you have to figure out. It makes all the difference in the world. It's a lift and drop kind of a retrieve, but uh, we only caught a few on top waters today. Every day you come out, it's a little bit different. Uh, but you can usually figure them out. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Come back and fish with us next time.